Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, hello, I am Caitlin Jones, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I am so happy to see you guys. So as you guys can see by the title of the video, I am doing an IMATS haul. I actually just got back from IMATS New York City about an hour ago. I was able to attend Pro Card Day because I am a certified makeup artist. So they gave me a lanyard and I put in my Pro Card. Um, in this right here so they could tell that I am a pro card member and I was able to get some discounts so I went a little bit crazy since I was able to get discounts I bought a little bit too much more than I probably should have but it's okay because now I have enough to do a haul for you guys which I'm really excited about yeah, this was my first time going for pro card day um, last time I went I went on a Saturday because I wasn't a certified makeup artist yet so I wasn't able to get any of the discounts or other cool stuff that they offered Sorry in the background, you could probably tell my bed is a mess. This is because I literally just got home, threw everything on the bed, and sat down to film this because I did not want to wait a day to film this. Like, I wanted to film it as soon as I got home so that I could play with all this makeup tomorrow because I am so excited. But I didn't want to touch it until I did a haul video for you guys first, so it could be like an unboxing kind of thing, I guess you could say. I don't know. But yeah, so that's why everything in the background through the mirror is a mess. I'm sorry. Just ignore that. Just focus on me so um I woke up at 7 this morning did my makeup we got me and my best friend got to New York a little bit earlier so we could eat lunch and get there a little bit early to walk around so that's why I'm looking a little crusty I am sorry I actually took off my eyeshadow because I was looking oh because I did it at 8 o'clock in the morning and it's 9 o'clock at night now so I was looking a little much so I just took off my eyeshadow reapplied my lashes and touched up my foundation this is pretty much how I went though I had a black smoky eye I actually did vlog so you will see in the vlog how I had my makeup I actually did a tutorial on the makeup I had done today um, a little while ago is a smoky eye so if you guys want to check that out I'll leave a link down below because I already did a tutorial on it so I got you guys it was a great experience I had so much fun for pro card day I cannot wait until next year and I just left like an hour ago like I'm so excited it was one of the best experiences I didn't have to wait in too long of a line there were amazing discounts I met amazing people like it was just an overall really great day and experience so I'm really excited for this haul like I got so much stuff this video is probably gonna be like 30 minutes long so please bear with me yeah so without further ado let's just get started okay so my first purchase actually I went here these are one of my last purchases but I'm doing it in a random order so bear with me <laughs> but so the first thing I'm going to show is from Juvia's Place I really hope I'm pronouncing this right but yeah it's from Juvia's Place and let's see Okay, so I bought um like $50 worth of makeup, and I don't know if this came with everyone, like if everyone got to get it, but um they actually gave me a free little mini eyeshadow. This one's called Nia, and it's really, really pretty. My friend swatched it in the train. It was gorgeous, so I'm really excited. This was free, like I said, with the palettes I bought. And then the two palettes I got from Juvia's Place are the Masquerade Mini, and then I got the Saharan, the Saharan. Saharan, Saharan, I really hope I'm not butchering this because I'd be really embarrassed. I got these two palettes, so I'm just going to open them up really quick so you can see what they look like. They are gorgeous. I swatched these when I was there, and let me tell you guys, I have not seen an eyeshadow palette this pigmented before. Like, holy moly. So this is the mini masquerade palette right here I will be doing full reviews and tutorials on these palettes so don't worry I'm not gonna swatch them right now because I will be swatching them for the review bit video but yeah I just wanted to give you guys a look at what this looks like it's absolutely gorgeous I'm really excited to use this one Giza and Zola and Dahlia in a tutorial because I don't do a lot of colors as you guys know I stick more to my neutrals and nudes but I really wanted to buy this palette so I could um, venture out of my comfort zone and try some new things because this is a very colorful palette. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to swatch them for you guys. Look out for a review video on this palette. Okay, and then the next palette I got, like I said, was the Saharan. I'm just going to pronounce it like that and if I'm wrong, just correct me in the comments. But yeah, this one is gorgeous. This one's actually sold out right now on their website currently, but they had a few in stock at iMats, they said they were actually selling out really quick so I'm glad I bought it because I've seen really great reviews on this online and since it was sold out like it must be great and I'm also going to do a review and tutorial video on this so like I said I'm not going to swatch it right now but look out for the review and tutorial video and you'll be able to see me use this bad boy in action 
but look at those colors you guys they're absolutely gorgeous i am so excited and like i said the pigmentation was amazing when i swatched them there at imats so i am so excited to play with this so my next thing is from morphe brushes let me tell you guys i went a little ham first brush I got is the Morphe R1 and it is part of their rose gold collection. It's just a tapered powder brush and the reason I decided to get this brush is to set powder underneath my eyes. Um, I don't really have a good brush for that right now. I'm just using a blush brush for that. Um, I was waiting until I, find, until I found the right brush so I thought this would be perfect because it's tapered but not too tapered so it fits perfectly right there under my eyes so I can... Um, use this as a powder to set underneath my eyes and if I wanted to I could probably even use this to set the rest of my face too when I set my foundation so I'm really excited to try this one out the next brush I got was the Morphe M106 and it looks just like this it's just a regular um, large powder brush and this I'm going to use for bronzers blushes anything in this general area but I'll probably stick more for bronzing I don't really have a good bronzing um, brush I just do contouring that fits like right here but I want something to really buff it out. I want something a little bit larger. So that's why I decided to go with this big powder brush right here. The next brush I got was the R31. And it looks just like this. And the reason I got this brush is because it reminded me identical. It reminded me identical. It reminded me exactly of the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting um, brush. And this is that's what this is. It's a highlighting brush for right here. And the Anastasia one is a little bit um, expensive in my opinion. Um, I think it's like $15 around there. Maybe $12 or $15. I got this one at IMATS for $4. $4. I just poked myself in the eye. $4. Like this is amazing. And especially since it's part of the Rose Gold collection. And it was $4. Mm, you know I had to get this so it reminded me exactly of that brush and I've been wanting that brush for so long but I didn't know if I wanted to commit to that price even though it's really not that bad 12 or 15 dollars it's really not that bad if you think about it. it I'm not even sure if that's the price I'm just guessing but this was four dollars so I had to go for it so yeah so I'm gonna use this as a highlighting brush just like the Anastasia one okay and the next brush I got was the M573 and it looks just like this this is just a um, basic blending brush but I needed a new one I have a few other morphe blending brushes which I love so I wanted to try out this one and see how I liked it so yeah this is just a basic blending brush I just wanted another one okay and then the last brush I got from them was the m508 and it's just a smudger brush for underneath the eyes the smudger brush I have right now I believe a Sephora one I've had it since I was in like middle school and it's actually a bit rough and it kind of hurts underneath my eyes so when I like felt this one I was like yes this one doesn't feel like it'll hurt me and like make my under eyes go raw so I needed a new smudger brush so I just went with this one and then the last thing I got from Morphe is actually a pressed pigment I got it in the color powder room and I think I'm actually going to use this color as a um, highlighter because even though it's technically an eyeshadow, okay, I can't open this. Even though it's technically an eyeshadow, um, I swatched it when I was there and it looked like it would be a gorgeous summer um, highlighter. If I can open this. Okay, so here it is. Powder Room. See, it's supposed to be an eyeshadow, but I think this would come off, come off really great as a highlighter. Let me show you guys. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. I love this as a highlighter even though I probably will use it as an eyeshadow too I just love this as a highlighter so yeah let me see if I can like look how pretty that is that would be such a gorgeous highlight so that's the main reason I got it I got it as a new highlighter I don't really have any pinky rosy toned highlighters and that's exactly what this is it's definitely a pink um toned highlighter well eyeshadow so I decided to try it out. I'm really excited that I did because I don't have anything like it and it's really, really pretty. So like I said, this is Morphe Powder Room. It's a pressed pigment. Okay, and the next thing I got was from Dose of Colors. I love this company. And I only got one thing from them, unfortunately, um, because this is one of the last stops um, in IMATS that I did. I did Dose of Colors and then Morphe and I had already spent way too much money. So unfortunately, I only got one thing from Dose of Colors, even though I would have preferred getting like everything, especially their liquid lipsticks. I love their formula. 
but I ended up just getting the baked browns um, Joseph Colors palette. This is actually also sold out online, but they had a few in stock at IMATS, which I'm so, so happy about. I was praying that they had this because I just saw, I think it was Daisy Marquez did a YouTube tutorial using this palette. I'm pretty sure it was her. And oh my gosh, the pigmentation was freaking amazing. It was so bomb. So I was really hoping Joseph Colors would have this, and they did, which I'm so excited about. Um, this, oh my gosh, these colors are so, so pigmented. I swatched it there, and I was like... I was blown away, but I know this company is amazing, so I shouldn't have been that surprised. But yeah, so this is what it looks like, and it comes with a brush too, which I honestly didn't know. I don't want to blind you guys, but this is what it looks like. I will also be doing a review and tutorial on this palette. I want to do a review and tutorial on all the palettes that I got at IMATS, just because like I love trying out new things. So I will be doing a review and tutorial using this palette also. So like I said, I'm not going to swatch it right now, but just trust me on this. When it goes back in stock, you guys need this palette. Oh my gosh, when I swatched it, I was like sold. Like I was iffy about it, even though I saw the tutorial on it and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. I was iffy on it. I was like, let me go and swatch it and see for myself. And well, you guys can obviously tell that I loved it because I bought it. So highly recommend it for when it goes back in stock. Okay, and the next thing I got was from The Bomb Cosmetics. Let me just say they probably had the best discounts at the whole entire iMats. Like this place was amazing and i only got one thing which i really regret now because of the discounts but too late now and as you guys can probably guess what i got i got i got the mary lou the luminizer highlighter i actually have never owned this before i know this is really old and a lot of youtubers already like used it and they're done with it but i have never purchased it before and this is usually 25 dollars, but at imats they were selling it for 12 dollars 12 dollars so why not you know me that's freaking amazing so of course I had to get it if it was only $12 I've been wanting it so bad but I wasn't sure if I should get it or not because like I said it's $25 and I was like it looked pretty small to me but when they told me it was only $12 I'm like hey can I have like five I only bought one but I was really thinking in my head I'm like give me five so yeah so a lot of you guys will probably know what this is already so I'm not even gonna swatch it because you guys probably hear this all the time all these YouTubers were using it at one point, but I'm a little late, but I'm, you'll probably see me using it in my videos and tutorials now because I'm going to use what I bought. And even though this is an oldie, it's still a goodie. I swatched it and I really, really liked it. I've actually never even swatched it before. This is the first time I've ever seen it in person. I've ever swatched it anything and I fell in love. So that's what I got. I should have got more from them because their discounts, like I said, were amazing. But I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this purchase. I feel like I'm not out of the loop anymore now that I have it. Okay, and the next thing I got was from Ricky's. Um, it's Ricky's New York. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. It's just a little, um, not even little. It's They have multiple stores in New York. They used to have one in New Jersey, but they closed it down. Ricky's is pretty much what California people have with um, Nigel, I think it's called. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much what this is. And I just got one thing there, and actually they had the Muddy Detox Clay Mask. I've seen so many YouTubers and Instagram um, gurus using this, and I really wanted to try it out, but like I don't really like buying things online. I don't know why, I just, I don't. So when I saw they had it at IMATS at Ricky's, I had to get it, and it, it was on sale also. It's usually $24, I believe, and I got it for $19, which is not that bad. So I'm really excited to use this. I'm actually going to use it tonight to test it out. I will let you guys know how I like it. And um, I'm sure I love it though because every other YouTuber and everyone loves it. And they say it works wonders. So I'm going to take a before picture of my skin tonight. And I'm going to use it for um, a few days and keep taking pictures and see if it actually works. And if it does, I will do a review video for you guys on YouTube if you guys want to see that. Okay, and the next thing I got is actually from Nigel's Beauty Emporium. I'm pretty sure this is a California-only based company. Or maybe they have a few others around. I don't know. I don't think they have any in New York, though. I've never seen it or heard of it before. But I got two things from Nigel's. I re-upped on my RCMA powder. I absolutely love this powder. Like, this is the only powder I use anymore. Like, I pretty much threw out my Laura Mercier and Airspun. No, I didn't throw it out. I still have them, but this is my new go-to, and I had to re-up because, like I said, I don't really like buying online, and I never see these anywhere in the store. I actually got my other one from my makeup school. They gave it to us in our kit, and I fell in love with it for myself, and my clients really love it, so I decided to buy one more, even though I probably should have bought five more, but yeah, I really love this powder, and I highly recommend it. And then the other thing I bought from Nigel's is they actually had Stilla um, Magnificent Metals. 
So I got the color Kitten Karma. I already have another one. I think I have Smoldering Satin. But I wanted a more rose goldy one. And this is exactly what it is. This is like a rose gold pink. Um, I will probably do a tutorial um, using the glitters also because I honestly love them. This is one of the best investments I made buying these two. I'm so happy I bought this. Ooh. I'm so happy I bought this one. It is gorgeous. It is so pretty. Look at this, you guys. Let me swatch it. Look how pretty that is. I don't even know if that's a good swatch. I like can't swatch for the life of me on camera. Here. Look how pretty that is. I cannot wait to use this in a tutorial. Yeah, I um, already did a makeup look with my Smoldering Satin one. Um, I don't remember if I uploaded it onto Instagram or not, but that is a gorgeous color also, and I will be doing a tutorial on these so you guys can see how to use them. They are so pretty. I'm in love with these. So once I saw that Nigel's had these in stock, I had to get one. I wanted to get more than one because they were actually on sale for $14, but I kept my cool, kept myself under control, and I only got one, even though I wanted to buy all of them. The next thing I got was from Jouer. I hope that's how you pronounce this. I really hope that's how you pronounce this, but I'm pretty sure that is. That company, Jouer, pretty sure it's Jouer, right? I think so. That's how Desi pronounces it, so I'm just gonna pronounce it like that. I got the Skinny Dip Lip Topper. I'm sure you guys know about this company also and this product because it is also all over YouTube and it looks like this. It's pretty much just a lip topper. It's something you put on top of your lips. <laughs> you can put it on top of um, lipsticks and it looks like this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited to use this. You could probably actually use this alone. I'll probably use this as like a lip gloss, honestly. And it's that one right there next to the Stillas. Look how pretty. I love that. So yeah, so you pretty much can put this over um, any type of lipstick or liquid lipstick, uh, MAC lipstick, whatever you want. But um, I'll probably just use this as a lip gloss also because it's so pigmented that you could use this alone. But I've seen so many YouTubers using it that I really had to get it. Once I saw that company was there, I'm like, yes, I need it. The next things I got were from Ardell and I actually got the Natural 120 Demi Black um, eyelash and then I got the Ardell double up double wispies right here I've never seen these before in the store and I love their wispies so I decided to try them out and then last but not least I got some stuff from Lady Moss if you guys have never heard of them they're an online store I'm not sure if they have any like stores physical stores in California or anything but I know they're an online store and they sell cocoa lashes and nicks so I had to stop at Lady Moss and get a few things so the first thing I got was Cocoa Lashes in Dashin. These just came out, if I'm not mistaken, um, recently within the past like few weeks or month or so. And I saw these on their Instagram and I knew I had to get them. So when I saw them at Lady Moss, I was so excited. I picked these up and I was like, yes, yes. So yeah, so I got Dashin. And then I got my favorite go-to lashes in Goddess. You guys all know I love my goddess lashes. I use these non-stop. I used to use them a lot in tutorials, but I calmed it down a little bit because I thought people were getting really annoyed because that's all I would use. And in my Instagram posts, I would always write I was wearing goddess. But yeah, so I got these two lashes. I really had to re-up on lashes. That's why I got quite a few pairs. Um, my eyelash drawer is looking a little sparse. So I went a little ham on eyelashes and I'm probably not done. I will probably be ordering some more. But yeah, so I got these two. And then also from Lady Moss, I just got this cute little eyelash holder. This is really good for when you travel and you don't want to bring the packets of eyelashes separately. You just put your favorite lashes in here. You, um, It contains up to three lashes. So this is what I bought. I bought it mo mainly for traveling. And if I lose a box to one of my lashes and I don't want to have them just laying around, I just put them right in here. I thought these were really cute cases. I always saw it on the Lady Moss website, but I never picked them up. Um, and this also was discounted. I think I got this for like two or three dollars. So I was really excited about this And the last thing I got is not from iMats. I actually ordered this online, but I've been obsessed with this stuff lately This is not sponsored either like they have no idea. I'm talking about this. They did not pay me to say this They did not send these to me. I bought these with my own money, but I've been recently obsessed with pop sockets 
Um, I have three of them. I have a black one. I have a marble one on my phone currently right now. And then I just bought this one. It is a picture of me and my boyfriend from a party when we were like dressed up. So I really love this picture and I wanted to turn it into a pop socket. So I did. And I just got this in the mail today which I thought was perfect timing since I'm doing this IMATS haul. I decided to just throw this in here because I've been recently obsessed with pop sockets. Like these things change the game. Like when I'm laying in bed my phone no longer falls on my face anymore. I just slip my fingers in the pop socket like let me show you guys like this your phone is like right here and it's like this I don't know why I'm not just showing you guys with my actual phone Durr. so yeah so it's like this and it's really easy to take pictures and I'm just like look just like chilling with my phone doesn't go anywhere my friend was playing with it today I'm at she was like amazed like I think I convinced her to get one it's so cool and then it just pops in when you're done and like it moves so like you can hold up your phone I'm just obsessed with these pop sockets and I thought it was really cool how on the pop socket website you can customize your own like I said I did me and my boyfriend and it's pretty cheap I think this was $15 but if you get one already made I got mine on Amazon through the pop socket company and I think my marble one was three dollars was six dollars and my plain black one was three dollars and then the custom made one was fifteen dollars which is still not that bad because the pop sockets are amazing like I said they save my life when I'm laying in bed like they're amazing. Like I said, I'm not sponsored. They didn't pay me. I paid those with my own money. But I just think those are such great inventions that I wanted to like tell everyone else about them because surprisingly a lot of people have never heard of them or don't know what they are. I've had people come up to me like, oh my gosh, what's that on your phone? And I've explained it to them and they've loved it and they've gone out and got their own. But yeah. Okay guys, so that was it. That was my iMats haul. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my products and I'm so excited to review them and use them in tutorials for you guys. And I will also be vlogging a lot more, especially now with graduation coming up. I will be vlogging my graduation, I will be vlogging my summer, whatever I end up doing in the summer. I have a few concerts planned, I have a vacation planned, so I'm really excited to take you guys along with me for that. So be on the lookout for those also. So that's it. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you guys really like my videos and really like me, don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!